YouTubers, welcome again to another Walking Dead recap. Okay, so last night's episode, totally off the hinges, alright? It was pretty much what Andrew Lincoln described as crazy, then they totally delivered on that. Now, if you watched my last episode recap, which would be right up here, at the end, I also mentioned that the wolves would be probably the ones that were sounding off the horn outside Alexandria, which turned out to be totally correct. Alright, we're going to try to do this as the episode moves on, so we're going to first start off with seeing Enid's journey to Alexandria. We see her pretty much in the car with her parents and zombies coming, and shows how dumb her parents were, that there were zombies coming and didn't do anything about it, they wanted to keep looking at the directions and working with the car. Um, so yeah, she saw them die and get eaten, uh, eventually she started wandering around on her own, ate a turtle, which is pretty depressing to me, and uh, found her way at Alexandria, right near the wall. Which is cool because we don't have much of a backstory on this girl yet, except she's really mysterious and seems to like Carl. Next thing is Maggie talks to Deanna. Deanna, the leader of Alexandria, the former politician, pretty much it needs to be told that she needs to get her stuff together because she has an, a group that she needs to be strong for. Now that's something that Rick had been told before, but in kind of a different way because he was totally losing his mind. Um, it looks like Deanna was willing to do it, but she's very clearly weakened from the events that have occurred. Her son died and her husband died and her group is really kind of falling apart because her foundations were set and they're no longer acceptable based off of what the survivors have brought and now that the wolves are attacking. Gabriel goes up to Carl and he basically is trying to get forgiveness for the fact that he totally sold out his group to Deanna um, or not even his group, he calls it Rick's group and uh, really tries to want to contribute to that whole that whole team there and really, I don't know, kind of get some redemption for what he's done in the past including what he did at the church by killing all those people essentially by locking them out when a zombie breakout was occurring um, he's really been a very conflicted character and uh, I still think he's a coward and I hate him so I'm not willing to forgive him at this point he's got to do something pretty cool kind of like a Nicholas to help turn it around the overarching thing is the wolves attack Alexandria um, they came in from all different angles um, it's very interesting it seems like they just feel like they have to attack Alexandria not for the supplies necessarily because it didn't look like they were going for that but rather that they are literally wolves that just need to hunt um, I know there's this whole prophecy that all the wolves around here turn into men um, and that's kind of how it ended up working out, and I guess that's why they feel they have to bite something that's in their territory. Which, of course, was discovered when they saw Aaron's backpack, and Aaron kind of realized that he messed up pretty hardcore, because he knows he led them there by leaving his backpack when he and Daryl went on that supply run over at the uh, can factory. For the next part, can we talk about how awesome Carol is? Seriously. Carol turns into total BA mode, he en she ends up going out and, you know, shooting a bunch of wolves and taking them on, but ultimately the coolest part is when Morgan's about to totally get into a big fight with his lumberjack guy, she comes up, stabs him in the side because she was in disguise as a wolf. It's so brilliant. Like, there is someone who was so shaken back in the day, Shane had to basically beat up her husband and ultimately ended up being killed because she could not stand up for herself in any way, shape, or form. Now she's practically leading the assault against others as a defense uh, system for the survivors. Fascinating. And I just can't, like, this and Terminus are like the coolest things that have happened on the show and Carol was the one who spurned both of them. Incredible. I loved every part of it. And I just love that she kept shooting a bunch of people that Morgan kept trying to keep alive. Carol's like, no, you're an idiot. We're shooting them. No matter what your ideals are. And the last thing to talk about from this episode of Walking Dead is the fact that Jesse, yes, Rick's lady love, ended up stabbing the hell out of a wolf that entered her house. Holy crap. Not only did she fight off uh, the wolf, like she ended up getting beat up in the beginning of it, but then she was like, Dude, I can take you on, grabs a, grabs a pair of scissors and just stabs her relentlessly. And I'm sure that pretty much terrorized her children, but she very, it very much signifies a lot of things for her, which is that she's willing to fight back, and uh, in a larger scale with the people of Alexandria is willing to take on what's going ahead, and that she's adjusting to the reality that they're going to have to be fighting like this. 
But that's pretty much it for the episode. I hope you had a great time watching it. It totally delivered just like episode one. And the third, epi the third episode is definitely going to be about the wolf attack from the perspective of these cool survivors like Michonne and Abraham and Daryl and Rick and stuff that we haven't seen. So that's going to be really wicked. Um, in the meantime, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you subscribe and you leave a comment on one of my videos, I'm going to be giving away a Walking Dead figure of a female zombie with a tongue out. Um, kind of reminds you of the lady from Kingpin. You remember that? Um, yeah, so I'm going to be giving that away. Of course, if you leave a comment and you subscribe onto one of my videos. Um, make sure that uh, you pay attention because I will be having another Walking Dead recap next week. I should have an unboxing this week for some nerd toys, uh, probably from Nerdbox. And lastly, I'm going to have another Game of Thrones What If video coming around Wednesday or Thursday. So make sure you pay attention to that, and I will gladly talk to you later. Hope you have an amazing day. Take care. Bye.